In 2022, China will host the Winter Olympics. And one group of groundbreaking architects is banking on the country becoming obsessed with winter sports. They want Changsha, a so-called furnace city due to its oppressively humid summer weather, to become home to the most spectacular indoor ski resort in the world. It's really an ambitious project. But to achieve that, we are facing a lot of challenges. The design that architect Wang Tao and a development team have been hired to bring to life is this. The Deep Pit Ice and Water World. A 37,000 square meter luxury leisure park, which will appear to float high above a tranquil lake 100 meters below. At its center, a vast snow park, featuring a 150 meter long ski slope, complete with cable cars and traditional alpine buildings. On the roof, a massive water park with swimming pools and slides will not only provide extra thrills, but insulate the building below through the baking hot summer months. Overlooking the whole structure, a luxurious 300-room five-star hotel will accommodate the tourists the investors hope will flock to the site from across China and the world. We relate this project is a kind of metal UFO from the future. Although still at the planning stage, the unique design is already pushing the limits of current construction techniques and comes with a massive $300 million price tag. But the design is just the beginning. The responsibility of making the plans a reality falls to a team consisting of dozens of structural engineers, headed up by Zhao Zhang. It's not a traditional building like we used to design. It's more like a bridge. That's a challenge for our design. And the scale of the construction, this Ice World project looks impossible when we first see it. But when we go into every detail with it, and now we are confident that it will be a reality. The team may be confident, but they've got their work cut out. If the space age design wasn't complex enough, this is the planned location for the build. A 170 meter wide flooded limestone quarry on the far reaches of Changsha's city limits. Constructing any sort of building here will be a major challenge. But the developers believe only this site offers them the space and the wow factor they need. October 2014, two years after the architects first began drafting their ambitious design, work begins to prepare the limestone quarry for construction. Abandoned for more than 60 years, the quarry floor is submerged under 2.6 million square meters of standing water. It's enough to fill over 2,000 Olympic swimming pools, but the state of the ground beneath the water is a huge unknown. For the 325,000 ton ice world design to appear to float, the plan is that it will be supported on a single vast column. But that will require a solid base of granite bedrock. Until the pit has been drained, the engineers have no idea what years of submersion in water has done to the quarry floor. The unknown state of the pit floor is a major concern. And that isn't the only problem Ice World's engineers are facing. Changsha's subtropical climate means it's subject to monsoons and an average yearly rainfall of 140 centimeters. On a bad day, over 85 cubic meters of runoff will end up in the quarry. That's more water than an average household in the UK will use in six months. To keep on top of the almost constant deluge, Liao has installed a system of 10 heavy duty pumps. They'll remain a permanent feature to keep the water out. For three months, the pumps work 24 seven. 
But by late spring 2015, the bottom of the pit is finally exposed. And it reveals the team's worst nightmare. Instead of the solid granite bedrock they were hoping for, it's still covered in a thick layer of the weaker limestone that was quarried years before. Worse still, it's been attacked by acidic rainwater, the result of China's heavy pollution. For the engineers, it's the construction equivalent of building on Swiss cheese. Samples are extracted from the quarry floor, then sent to be pressure tested at a local laboratory in Changsha. For the original design to work, the rock will have to withstand thousands of tons per square meter to cope with the massive weight exerted by Iceworld's single support column. To guarantee the rock is up to the job, each sample must be tested to destruction. It's bad news. The sample is the latest in a long line to have failed the pressure test. After two months of testing, the team must finally admit defeat. Nowhere on the floor of the pit is stable enough to support the weight of the current structural design. Because the distance be between the, these two cliffs is at least 180 meters, we have to add more columns to reduce the, the, the span of structure. Instead of one massive support column, there will now be 48. Each one 90 meters tall and made from steel and sculpted concrete. A vast reinforced concrete floor slab will sit on top of the columns, forming the base for the structure. To further spread the load and reduce pressure on the unreliable pit floor, one edge of the slab will rest on a ledge carved out of the existing wall of the quarry. The new design will mean the building is supported both vertically and horizontally, without ever exerting excess pressure on the quarry. <laughs>